Okay, Maritime Surveillance Aircraft is making its debut, debut here at Farnborough. Uh, it's a new entry into a new market in the mid-sized class of 50,000 pounds approximately, uh, below the classic P-8, the strategic uh, multi-int platforms that we're known for. It uh, hosts five sensors that are integrated into a mission computing system based on the P-8. So really uh, innovative reuse of technology that allowed us to produce a new maritime surveillance capability uh, for international customers in approximately two years after we first came up with the concept. We chose the Challenger 605 aircraft after an extension search of many business jet class aircraft because of its versatility. It occupies a unique space in the market called Super Midsize Business Class, has the right payload for the complement of sensors that we chose, still has margin with power, margin with cooling, and uh, weight and space growth in case customers want to add new capability down the road. The current staff's program is we're debuting it worldwide uh, today at the Farnborough Air Show. Uh, two years ago, we actually identified the aircraft We've been through uh, modifications to the aircraft, followed by airworthiness testing. Just recently completed installation and check out of the mission systems. And once we leave Farnborough, we'll head back to Seattle and do the ground and flight testing to characterize the performance of the system. So the objective customer set and market for this aircraft are for countries and customers that don't need to do anti-submarine warfare or anti-surface warfare. So although we're leveraging the P-8, we don't have those capabilities on board, but for other maritime patrol missions, economic exclusion zone, fisheries protection, basic maritime surveillance, harbor protection, uh, MSA is the ideal aircraft. So MSA has a complement of five sensors. We have a radar on board, AIS to do maritime identification, uh, ESM system and comment system for electronic warfare capability, and, uh, and an EOIR turret um, made by uh, FLIR systems. So it's a complement of five systems, five sensors that are all integrated into uh, one integrated picture for the operator. This allows each operator to do much more uh, than traditional systems out in the market today that are more federated and don't combine all that information together into an easily understandable format for the operators. No launch customer has been announced yet. We obviously keep uh, you know, specific customers quiet, but we are talking to a number of different customers. We have several campaigns underway already, and we're hoping with uh, our debut here we'll get uh, generate uh, additional interest.